yeah, it's been good. It's been hot, um, as to be expected in Texas. Um, it's pretty warm over here, so adjusting to that took a couple of sessions probably, but no, grooving in nicely now and um, getting to play on the new practice wickets at Prairie Views at um, Grand Prairie has been really good. So um, yeah, shaping up nicely for the tournament. I think growing up in Australia, you don't really have a choice but to be surrounded by sport. Um, and I think I grew up probably 300 metres from my local cricket club, which is where my dad actually played a bit of cricket as well. So um, we started there when we were, I think I was nine when I started at Brunswick Cricket Club uh, in Melbourne. Um, I've sort of had, I've played at a few different clubs over the journey, but um, yeah, going through the ranks at Brunswick and then I played a lot of school cricket through my school. Um, and then, yeah, working through into Premier Cricket through um, Carlton uh, predominantly. And then a bit of time in Tassie, a uh, bit of time with Melbourne Renegades. Um, and then a little bit of time with the US national team as well, which has been really good. And um, hopefully add the Super Kings to that list if I can uh, step out on the field this year. It was quite nerve-wracking to be honest. I've never really been involved in a in a live draft before, so um, obviously it's quite big in international cricket or franchise cricket now to have the drafts or the auctions. And, um, I didn't think I would be nervous, and then I start the live stream. I was actually at work during the day, um, back working for Sport Eng, um, and I had the YouTube live stream going on, sort of in the background as I was working away, and then. My name came up and I was quite surprised to see it. I thought I didn't think I'd be going in uh, the sixth round. I thought I might scrape into like eight or nine, but um, yeah, I was stoked to, obviously stoked to get involved with such a, a powerful franchise. Um, obviously three teams across the world and, and a huge, huge amount of success over the years in the IPL particularly. So um, yeah, flattered and super excited to, to get a chance. I hope so. I think, like I sort of touched on there, it's it's an it's an enormous opportunity and it's an enormous market. Um, I think the success of the US um, in this tournament, um, particularly, but then also to be able to qualify for the 2026 World Cup on the back of their performances in this year's edition, then um, hopefully the the media and the press that they've been getting. I, I've seen shout outs from um, Diplo, the DJ, and. Um, news clips from across the US, um, there is slowly beginning to build a bit of that momentum and I think MLC plays a big part in that if we can continue that ball rolling, particularly off the back of that T20 World Cup. Um, yeah, I mean the world the world could be their oyster, there's so much opportunity and um, I think the US is such a great market to be involved in as a sport, um, from, as a sporting code, so um, yeah, massive what those guys have done. So huge for the sport. Well, the coaching staff here and the support staff, um, they make it a very comfortable environment. Um, Flem's really good at keeping things really uh, light-hearted and um, he really leaves a lot of trust with the playing group. So um, I think it, it, it leaves, leaves people in a position where they're in control of their own sort of destiny, I think, which is great. Um, gives you a lot of freedom to, to train as you as you feel the need to um, and I think that that message throughout the whole playing group is really good for sort of morale and um, yeah it's a really good environment around the group um, yeah I think every coaching setup is different and, and um, yeah I definitely noticed that Flem is, is quite fun and relaxed and um, it's a really fun group to be around even though missing out last year and the disappointment of that um, yeah it's a really good vibe around the group and um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it's the first time I've really had to deal with sort of missing major sort of tournaments with injury. So um, it was something that I had to deal with, which was quite new to me. So um, yeah, it was good to have, like I've obviously got a, I've got a quite a strong support network with my wife and family and friends and stuff. So um, it's, it's always good to have that to fall back on and uh, to have them to support me. So um, yeah, it was disappointing, but Thankfully, I get another chance this year, hopefully, and um, can play a few games and let a few go. But yeah, I met a little while back, and um, we've obviously been together through uh, through thick and thin. She um, 
managed to get we managed to get through uh, a couple of years doing long distance while I was in uh, well, semi long distance while I was in Tasmania and um, yeah I, th I think that as a cricketer as a sports person it's incredible the amount of um, travel and flexibility that you demand of people around you and so um, I think to be able to roll with the punches to be able to deal with the 24 hours notice before you get on a flight and disappear for three weeks um, takes a lot of patience um, and a lot of resilience um, and so thank you for that um, yeah she's she's also we're expecting her first child in October so she's back home at the moment um, unfortunately it didn't get to come over this year but um, yeah I think um, yeah, the support that I get from her particularly um, letting me chase my dreams um, to come over and do this sort of stuff is uh, it's really really appreciated and um, yeah I certainly wouldn't be here without her support so um, thanks Em I love you looking forward to getting back home after the hopefully a successful tournament.